Hi guys, today we will be putting to the test the simple kind to skin hydrating light moisturizer for one entire week and see what the results are on my skin and see how well it actually moisturizes. Now y'all know that I love simple as a brand, not only because their products are just like really simple, excuse the pun here, but also the reviews for this moisturizer appear all to be very positive and very promising. So I cannot wait to try this out. And now I'm going to give you a little bit of background for this moisturizer. Simple actually claims that this is supposed to provide 12 hours of moisturization, hydration, leaving your skin feeling moisturized, hydrated, and perfectly smooth. On top of that, this is supposed to be non-comedogenic, meaning that it shouldn't break you out, and don't you worry, I will be trying that out for you guys. On top of that, this is also fragrance-free and paraben-free, and it also contains vitamin E, which if you didn't know, it is actually a very powerful antioxidant, which is supposed to not only brighten up your complexion and also remove any dark spots, pigmentation, or sun damage that you might have on your skin, but also going to protect you from free radicals in the air, which is essentially what makes us age our skin. Therefore, it's also going to be a little bit anti-aging. On top of that, I have tried the Rich Replenishing Moisturizer version of this, and I really love this. It actually is one of my top moisturizers as of now, so I am really excited to see what this will be giving to us girls. So without further ado, don't you worry, I'm going to take you guys with me, so let's get to experimenting, shall we? Hey, you guys, so this is what my skin looks like. As you can see, it's very shiny because because I have already serums, toned essence, the whole shabam. And I want to say my skin is a little bit dry, but I do have oily skin. And this moisturizer specifically is more targeted for oily skin, so I should be the perfect type. And now I want to see the consistency and smell. I feel like it's going to be just the same as the Replenishing Rich moisturizer, which I have already tried. Okay, so it's definitely the same consistency. Oh, the smell is different though. Oh, this does not smell nice at all. It smells almost old. Like, you know when you open an old room, like you haven't been in a room for a really long time and you haven't changed the air for a long time? This is what it smells like. It feels good on the skin though. And now I am using this in the morning just because I see this more as a light moisturizer. Whereas the rich moisturizer, I see it more as like a night moisturizer. Anyways, what I'm looking for is that it's going to provide me enough moisture to last me throughout the day. However, I don't want it to break me out. Out. But as you can see right now, me and my skin, we are in good terms. Like, she's behaving. She doesn't have a lot of pimples. She's not stressed. So I would love to keep her this way. So anyways, you guys, first impressions, this definitely seems very promising. But as always, keep on watching because it will give you guys updates throughout this day to see how this performs. Oh, by the way, quick side note, it'll also be interesting to see if maybe this is a matte moisturizer. That would be nice. Though I don't think it is. Looking at it, it seems very glowy. But who knows? Maybe it could dry down matte. Okay, you guys. So it's been six hours since I've applied the moisturizer this morning. And this is what my skin is looking like currently. As you can see, I do have a little bit of highlighter, mind you. However, it's still looking very hydrated and moisturized. And also, it is feeling moisturized as well. This cream, it has durability. It has longevity. Also, it hasn't peeled up. And also, the look is a bit between a matte and more like moisturizing. It's not completely matte, but not overly greasy and shiny. We stand. Okay, guys. So it's day two. Before I apply this moisturizer, I first want to read to y'all the ingredient list so we could better understand if we actually like this moisturizer. This might actually have a really good ingredient list or there might be some ingredients that we might not like. So I have the ingredient list right here. Let me read it out to y'all. So the first ingredient after water is actually glycerin. This is basically contained in all skincare ingredients at this point and this is basically just a humectant. So it's going to hydrate and moisturize your skin. So that's definitely a plus. Then I see paraffinum liquidum which now I get why this smells so disgusting because this is literally the smell of paraffinum liquidum. But anyways, this ingredient, just like dimethicone, which is actually contained in this in the fourth place in the ingredient list, they're actually both supposed to create a film, a layer onto your skin, so to prevent transepidermal water loss. So basically, you're keeping your skin hydrated and moisturized. They're not actually supplying it, they're just keeping it locked in. However, in big amounts, they could actually be a little bit pore clogging. And since this is second place and also dimethicone fourth place, this cream might actually cause me to break out maybe throughout this week. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. So definitely a little bell has been ringing and alarming in my head since I read this ingredient list. Then I see settle palmitate. So this is basically an emollient. So all it's going to do is basically soothe and hydrate and moisturize your skin. Then I see bisablol. So I believe this ingredient comes from this flower right here. I don't know the name of it. But anyways, this just has very big anti-inflammatory properties. So basically, it's going to be amazing to reduce redness and inflammation in your skin caused by, for example, rosacea or acne. And also, it is going to be amazing at treating sunburns caused 
caused by UV rays. Then there is Borago Officinalis Seed Oil. So this is just, just like Bisabol, it's just a very another soothing and hydrating ingredient. So it's going to be great for treating skin issues like, for example, eczema, dermatitis, and again, rosacea. So again, what I'm seeing from this ingredient list and this moisturizer is just a very soothing, calming. This is basically just going to put you to bed, read you a bedtime story, a lullaby, and just rock your bed and just... Anyways, then there is a vitamin E. Vitamin E is a great antioxidant, so it's going to be great at brightening your skin first, but also protecting your skin from any free radicals in the air, which we know cause aging in the long run. So anyways, you guys, I actually am really liking the ingredient list for this moisturizer, and I have to give props for Simple because, as always, this is a fragrance-free ingredient list, and y'all know I hate fragrance, and Simple just really strives for not using fragrance in their ingredient list, even though this smells truly kind of like questioning and disgusting. I'm really proud for that. So you guys, apart from the practice, Aphidum liquidum and dimethicone, which we definitely have to keep an eye out for in this week. Is this gonna break me out? Only time will tell. So stay tuned and see for that. So it's day four. This is what my skin looks like. I wanna point out to you. Can you see these pimples that are popping up right here, 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 and here? I have to pop them, squeeze them. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna come clean, but I know that all of y'all do it too, so don't judge me. Might it be this moisturizer with all this dimethicone and paraffinum? liquidum because I haven't changed anything in my skincare routine apart from this moisturizer. Also, I have kept my diet exactly the same like always, so which is relatively healthy, as well as I have been wearing makeup almost every day like I usually do. So, the only explicable reason for this breakout is this moisturizer. Anyways, you guys, we are halfway through this experiment. Definitely stay tuned for day six so that we can better understand if it's this moisturizer causing my acne. And maybe when I'll see you, I'll have even more pimples. Who knows? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. It's day six. This experiment is finally coming to an end. Now, this is what my skin is looking like. Yes, I have a pimple right here and also right here. Yeah, there too. However, trust me, I know this is not due because this moisturizer is just my normal pimples coming up. But anyways, guys, not to give any anticipations just yet. However, the only thing I will say is, girl, this week has been really interesting, but also very satisfying. That's all I'm going to say for now. If you want to know more, and trust me, there are some things that I haven't told you guys yet in these vlogs that are really crucial and you should definitely know if you want to buy this moisturizer then definitely keep on watching. My little children, gather round, gather round. Auntie Matt is now going to tell you a little bit of a story. Yes, come here, sit down, sit down. Well, my children, once upon a time in a far, far kingdom lived a beautiful and perfect moisturizer. <laughs> What's that, niece? Yes, Auntie Matt actually really likes this moisturizer. Yes, niece. Nah, nah. You got that right. And so this moisturizer actually had a lot of good qualities. Not only was she kind to the peasants, and not only was she really intelligent, but also, now come my final thoughts and results with this, because yes, I actually have dated her for a little bit. I know it might be a little bit shocking because I'm gay. However, I'm also attracted to skincare. Skincare is what gets me there. It just really arouses me. So I tried to date her and it actually went quite well. So I'm gonna tell you how our dates went throughout this week. Mm -hmm. The metaphor that is all this is just wow. How does it come up to my mind? I honestly don't know. Am I high? No. That's what scares me the most. But anyways, you guys, the first thing that I really liked is the formula. Of course, y'all know Simple, when it comes to the formula, I'm talking to you directly now, Simple. You really got it down to the T when it comes to your formulas, huh? Okay, apart from the kind to skin toner that I have already reviewed, card right up here if you wanna go watch that video, that formula was a little bit questionable, but apart from that, all your moisturizers, all your cleansers, they are amazing. So I, of course, was not expecting any less out of this. This contains vitamins, Vitamin E. This contains a lot of really skin-loving ingredients. All the glycerins. They're just also moisturizing. Borage seed oil, which is also very nourishing. It is also suitable for vegans. It is cruelty-free. The packaging is also all recyclable, which is really important, especially in 2020 with all the things that are happening right now. Honestly, 2020, you're canceled. Good morning. Oh Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Not 
you. You can choke. Because, girl, we are going through it worse than a high school breakup right now. But so, when it comes to the formula, there's a check. Also, I really like the consistency. Now, if I have to compare it to the Rich Replenishing Moisturizer, to which I've also made a review, so maybe if you want to see which one you should buy, then maybe go watch that video afterwards. But so, even if the consistency is exactly the same as the Rich Moisturizer, in some inexplicable reason, this gets absorbed a lot quicker, and also, on top of that, it is also a lot lot lighter. So I really like this in the mornings. This does give you a really long time of hydration and moisturization. Also underneath the makeup, mind you, I have tried it and it was amazing, mind-blowing. So really the consistency and also the long-lastingness are a check as well. And now since I've touched upon the makeup aspect of this, do we really want to talk about it? Let's talk about it, niece. Yes, niece. All my makeup lovers out there, y'all probably know how hard it is to find a moisturizer that goes well and pairs well with your foundations because if moisturizers are too light then your skin is gonna be as dry as Arizona three minutes along the way once you're finished your makeup then on the other side of the spectrum if you decide to get a moisturizer that is too moisturizing then you'll have the problem that your foundation is gonna be looking patchy the makeup in general is gonna be looking patchy and not going on smoothly so you really have to find that sweet spot in the middle and this is exactly it you guys another thing that I really liked and excuse the pun here is of how simple this moisturizer actually is now this is because I feel like this would be amazing for when that time you know how sometimes we can go a little bit overboard I'm talking to people that are especially into skincare and they get excited with skincare just like me sometimes us we can get a little bit carried with our skincare we can try a lot of things at once and then maybe we end up irritating and harming our skin and we get a little bit of a chemical burn a little bit of an irritation and so we have to dial it back down just to the basics which is a moisturizer and hyaluronic acids well this is gonna be it for you because of the simplicity of the ingredients and the moisturizers in this I have found this is honestly so soothing that I feel it also helps with the redness and irritation caused by my acne and pimples this is a big thing to say but that is because whenever I put it on I don't know if I told you in the vlogs I don't remember right now but I felt just like whenever I had this on it acted kind of like a transparent foundation meaning that it just instantly reduced the appearance of my pimples and the redness of my pimples this just means it has really soothing and just nice ingredients for your skin now if you are watching and you have dry skin I honestly think that this would be amazing as a morning moisturizer for you if you are watching and you have a little bit more of an oily skin just like me and maybe you are scared of using richer moisturizers hence why you gravitated more towards this I want to say this did not absolutely clog my pores not one single bit it did not cause me to break out actually the opposite as I told you already and now my children the bad part of the story comes in this far, far kingdom, not only was there this beautiful princess, but there was also the evil witch of the south. And she was really jealous of how pretty and perfect the princess moisturizer around here was. So one day, the evil witch of the south, not being invited to the princess's party, she decided to actually curse the princess and actually give her a really disgusting smell for years and years years endless time until a beautiful handsome prince were to come and use her and spread her all over his face and actually really enjoy for this very spell to be broken and now you guys unfortunately that prince has not yet come because this moisturizer really does not smell nice she she has many qualities but smelling nice is not one of them let me tell you i can't i can't <laughs> it's traumatic for me. This just smells really old. As I told you guys already, like, if you were to go in a museum and maybe the windows weren't cracked for quite a while. But really, guys, I would just be very much of a hypocrite if I were to batch this because of how it smells. I have to say, it doesn't smell nice. However, we have to consider this does not contain fragrance. If you watch my channel, if you are a random, is that actually fragrance is really bad in your skincare ingredients. If you didn't know, it actually irritates your skin and it causes a lot of 
sensitivity. So while it might be nice to have products to smell good, it might be a little bit of a better experience, I get that. However, when you're applying your skincare, you really have to think of your skin first and what is good for your skin. If you want to smell nice, then just put perfume on. But my children, going back to the story, after the princess was cursed by this terrible spell given from the evil witch of the south, the king of this very far, far kingdom actually decided to lock the princess in a very tall, actually the tallest tower in the castle. So to prevent the evil witch of the south to casting any other spell on this little poor innocent princess. Therefore, the only negative and the only spell that the evil witch of the south actually was able to cast on this moisturizer was actually the smell. So I really do not have any other negatives. I really tried my best to come up with other negatives about this moisturizer, but there really aren't. I'm sorry, simple. You really snapped when you made this moisturizer, didn't you? I bet you are in a wheelchair now because the weight of just carrying the whole entire skincare industry and coming up with a moisturizer this good honestly snapped your back. Simple, this is for you. You honestly deserve all this clapping, Simple. Down the hall with your shit. So you guys, now that I've told you my positives and also the one single negative, we have to come with a conclusion of this story. The question arises, Mateo, will you be using this moisturizer after this experiment this week is over? And the answer is, of course, yes. This is honestly one of my favorite moisturizers up there. And so the story actually concludes that the alchemist of that very kingdom, who was very passionate of skincare, that would be me. He met the princess one day going up to the tower and climbing up because she needed a little bit of a skincare routine. She had a little bit of an issue with her skin. She had a little bit of a breakout going on because of all the stress caused by the evil witch of the south. Also, she was worried about the wrinkles. So really, that's what I had to come in. But actually, we became really good friends and we started a long lasting friendship, connecting me to the point of me having helped the princess of that very far, far kingdom. If you actually need any other help with treating your skin, actually figuring out what your skin wants, needs, didn't know it needed. If you have acne concerns, if you have wrinkle concerns, then I would be your best bet. Actually, the princess now, she's all good. Her skin is honestly flawless because she listened to my advice. So now, honestly, I'm out here because I want to help you guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then honestly, what you should consider doing is actually subscribing that red button right there down below. Uh-huh, might as well click it. And also click the bell icon right next to it so that you get notified whenever I upload but anyways, if you are interested in buying this, I did buy this from a store here in the UK called Savers. And I think I bought this for around four pounds or something like that. Four British royal pounds, mind you. Yes, indeed. But still, if you don't have access to Savers in your city or town, or maybe you don't live in the UK, then girl, your girl has got you covered because she actually found the cheapest product listing that she could find, both on Amazon US and Amazon UK. She is me in this instance. Linked it down below in the pinned comment. So Honestly, if you're considering on buying it, it's real easy. All you gotta do is click that link. I will disclaim it is an affiliate link, meaning I will get a little bit of percentage of the money you pay to buy this moisturizer. Instead of giving all the money to Amazon, you will be giving a little bit to me. You won't have to pay more. No shady tricks happening under the table. Nothing like that. But anyways, randoms, to my regular subscribers watching, y'all know what time of the video it's now. Can you hear the bell of that kingdom just belling? Wait, what's the sound of the bell called? Well, it's not ringing, because ringing, I imagine it more like an alarm or a school bell. That's ringing. But like, what about the bells that are like in a church? What is that called? I don't know. You tell me. But anyway, since this video was all about this moisturizer, she is actually the princess in the metaphor and the Italian word of the video is actually going to be principessa, which is princess in English. But girl, if you thought you were just about to click off this video and go away, honestly, you got that completely wrong because let's be real, I feel like I kind of awakened a little bit of the child in you. So really, you should just thank me for that because I feel like we all need to embrace our little child in us. And also for my men out there, you should embrace the women in you and for the women watching out there you should embrace the man in you let's just be fluid that's what we should be but so really what you should do is watch one of these two videos because trust me they're just gonna be as informative as this one and they're also gonna be just as funny but oh remember to be random and always be random eh, eh, eh. Mm, 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 mm. But watch them two videos though. Watch them two videos though now. Dong. That was the bell of the kingdom. Watch them now.